up guys, boy, Benny. It's really worth noting that the woke have destroyed themselves and that this woke moment that we've all been torturously through over the last couple of years is disintegrating before our very eyes. Now, let me tell you something. I don't watch women's college basketball. So I'm not here to tell you that I'm some type of expert or that I've been tuning into games, even though I went to the University of Iowa and I'm a proud Hawkeye. Uh, I don't I don't watch women's college basketball. I just don't have the time. I don't really watch sports at all. But there's something really powerful that happened in the NCAA tournament last night for women's basketball uh, featuring the Iowa Hawkeyes playing uh, LSU. And it was really emblematic of like a larger scale movement that's going on right now against wokeness and woke athletes. And the pretentious, preening, fabulous, obnoxious, America-hating uh, v- venom virus that has sort of been pulsating through sports. And it's really important to sort of ring the bell on this thing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So last year, there was this player named Angel Reese, and she taunted the Iowa star. Her name's Caitlin Clark. Now, many are saying that Caitlin Clark may well be the greatest female athlete in collegiate history. And we're going to get into that in just a second. As some people that we really trust in the sports arena are saying that they've never seen anything like it. That Caitlin Clark uh, is the best female basketball player in history. Now, uh, why is this image important? Well, this sort of shows the attitude, and you know this attitude, this cocky, obnoxious, pretentious, annoying, ingracious, gratuitous attitude when Angel Reese was gesturing that Caitlin Clark won't see a ring. That's what's going on here. Caitlin Clark, Iowa lost this game last year, and that Caitlin Clark won't see a ring because LSU uh, defeated them. And so it is this type of attitude and this type of moment that obviously carried forward and permeated the LSU team and... Uh, interestingly enough, this player, Angel Reese, was suspended a bunch of times and like got into all this other academic problems and personal problems and all this stuff. <laughs> Amazing how that always happens with the woke. But then the two had a meetup again last night. All right. So one year later, both teams, similar rosters, are meeting up again on their way to the final four to determine who's going to go to the final four. And something very curious happened before the game, before anyone shot a single shot lsu basketball team skipped the national anthem oh yeah baby check this out so this is the national anthem being played i'm gonna pause here there's the iowa team you can see there uh here's the iowa team that's being played in albany new york the announcers everybody standing right Where the hell is the LSU team? Where where are they? They left the court for the national anthem. They were nowhere to be found. They skipped the national anthem. Every person standing on every person standing, you can see the color guard there, members of our military there, members of our national guard, military. Can't really see which branch is supporting, but there's a color guard, right? So it's a military unit, police unit. You can see an officer right there. Just had some real problems in the state of New York, obviously, with their police um, and the attacks that are happening on their police. And the LSU team decided to just not show up. Yeah. So it's disgraceful. You can see their bench is clear. They're not on the floor. They were nowhere to be found. They literally left the court and decided to turn their backs on the national anthem. Well, it's amazing how amazing how things work out for people who hate their country and who, for people who hate their fans, quite frankly, because that's that's actually the core of wokeness, right? Is that you actually are dis- you're such a despicable and disgusting and ingracious person. You actually despise the fans. You despise the sport itself. You make it all about you. Because wokeness is narcissistic at its core and and nihilistic at its core. So nothing matters. Country doesn't matter. National anthem doesn't matter. Your teammates don't matter. It's only you who matters. Well, let's see how that worked out for them. Well, Ellis, you got their kicked in. Their ass stomped last night by Iowa. Iowa was up by like 10, 20 points most of the game, second and third quarters. Um, The entire stadium was cheering against them, by the way. Entire stadium cheering against them, season over, 
Let this be a lesson to all players. The cringy, selfish, woke athlete moment is over. Americans are sick of seeing you pretentious, privileged, pampered assholes kneeling for our anthem, disrespecting our anthem, disrespecting the fans, disrespecting your sport, acting like it's all about you. It's not about you. It's the point of sports. It's actually not about you. It's about a team, a moment, uh, a legacy, about the brand, the the the, the uniform you're pl- you're wearing, the history of the team. It's about something so much more. Grandfathers and grandsons watching the games together. It's about so much more than you. But for some reason, because the spotlights and because the PR campaigns feature you, you think because you wear this uniform for this short period of time, it's all about you. It is the mind virus, destructive and destroying, ladies and gentlemen. So it's, uh, you know, it's wonderful to see, actually. LSU got their ass kicks. LFU stars leave the court before the American National Anthem is played ahead of the game Iowa as video sparks outrage online. Complete disgrace. Iowa players stood hand in hand while the Star Spangled Banner was played out. But their elite eight opponents could not be seen. They literally left the floor. Now, Caitlin Clark, who some are calling the the best female athlete in history, uh, put up 41 point masterclass to beat LSU. No one could touch her. No one could touch her. This is obviously the uh, the original tweet here. Iowa players holding hands. National Anthem LSU players could not be found. And this is, of course, Angel Reese. No longer so cocky. After getting her ass beat. No longer so cocky. Uh, people are popping off, obviously, online. This is the coach, the LSU coach. Uh, she claimed her players uh, had not been on the court. Uh, was not intentional. Oh, it was not intentional. Interesting. Uh, Ted Lasso star hilariously recreates Caitlin Clark's you can't see me gesture as Iowa sinks LSU. So so Ted so Ted Lasso, Jason Sudeikis was there and was actually doing was actually doing the you can't see me. Look at that. Taunting. Taunting. Angel Reese. Amazing. Incredible. Look at this. Good for him. And here's Caitlin Clark. This is the uh, uh, the Iowa star right here. Wow. Is Jason Sudeikis from Iowa? I'm not sure. Maybe he's just a fan. Jason Sudeikis was spotted in the crowd at NCAA uh, tournament between Iowa and LSU. Ted Lasso star hilarious. who created the You Can't See Me. Obviously, it's this celebration right here. Um, Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe he's just a big-time fan. Who knows? Okay. Uh, yesterday, video of LSU team uh, being absent on the court during the national anthem. The team coach said that she doesn't even know when the anthem was played. Uh, okay. This coach has apparently been in the league for like 60 years, and she has no idea when the anthem was played. Honestly, I don't even know when the anthem was played. We kind of have a routine where we are on the floor, and then they come off at the 12 minute mark. That's when the um, we just, I don't know, and we come in and we do our pregame stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I Listen, I, that's nothing intentionally done. Okay, well, I mean, it's something that you should be intentional about, however, right? Like, you should be intentional to not do that. If you're a coach, at, the last thing you want is, like, off-court drama. You want to, like, focus on what you're doing. I want to focus on what I do every single day. I don't like any extra drama. But, like, if you're a coach, this is, like, your job. So at the very least, you should make sure that you don't disrespect these soldiers and cops and veterans and people who are standing there in the crowd, patriots in the crowd. Like, you get the entire stadium cheering against you when you do things like that. Caitlin Clark dropped 41 points tonight on Iowa's victory against LSU. Final score, uh, 94-87. Iowa advances the final four. She also stood for the national anthem. LSU walked out. This is what everyone's playing. Absolutely despicable. Absolutely despicable and disgusting moment as LSU women's basketball players leave the court for the national anthem. They lost good riddance. That's exactly right. A lot of people are saying this. A dear LSU women's basketball, this is the reason why you aren't present standing for the national anthem. Yeah. 
Angel Reese and her LSU trash teammates left the floor during the national anthem tonight. Caitlin Clark and Iowa stood classy and then wiped the floor with them. Caitlin Clark, it, Cook and LSU, who refused to stand for the national anthem. I mean, again, Caitlin Clark, 41 points. It's just remarkable. You'll see here Dave Portnoy, who was posting a, a lot from the game. Dave Portnoy was obviously at the game last night. LSU players left the court, national anthem, then got smacked down by Iowa. Dave Portnoy just like, effectively uh live to, you know live posting throughout the entire game uh people asked why was he at the game here's his response okay just got back watching caitlin clark metaphorically flush angel reese lsu right down the toilet avenger loss last year i know people saying press what are you doing why did you go from miami to albany back to miami in one day why are you wearing caitlin clark iowa when you're a michigan man what are you doing at women's game here's the thing and you listen and you listen I hunt greatness. I hunt it. I need it. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't care if it's Caitlin Clark, Pedro in his prime, Tom Brady, Jordan, the Godfather, Office Season 3, this DeFazio rum cake, which I gave a 9-4, that I demanded be at the arena tonight. I don't care what it is. If it's great, I need it. I hunt it. I get to experience it. This rant, boom, gone. You miss it. Great rant, gone. you got to hunt greatness. Caitlin Clark delivered. I told her I was coming. I said, deliver it. Maestro performance. Maybe the best of her career. Now I now, now I am at ease. I saw, witnessed what greatness was all about. It's Caitlin Clark, best women's player of all time. And if you don't respect that, I got no time for you. I'm just going to eat this cake and smirk at you and be like, you don't know what greatness is all about? You have no idea. No idea. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Uh, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment. Caitlin Clark with the ball, and Iowa wins, and LSU has been defeated. The America-hating LSU team destroyed by Iowa. Iowa on to the Final Four, and hopefully on to uh, winning the national championship. Caitlin Clark's the best women's cat. Uh, so the reason why you know, I don't follow the sport, right? I don't. This isn't necessarily a sports channel, but this is a cultural span channel, and sports are a big part of culture. So we like talking about it. Caitlin Clark is the best women's college basketball player of all time. Tonight she proved it and averaged, avenged last year's loss. She put Iowa on her back. It was a pleasure to witness greatness. So, ladies and gentlemen, we Dave Fortnite does do this for a living. So that we will put a pin in that and say this. I mean, here's here's the final thing that we'll say. Um, your moment's done. Your moment's over. Like, heed this as a warning. All ye athletes who believe that it's all about you. All of you people who believe that the American flag should be disgraced and that the American culture should just be trod upon. Uh, your moment is over. There was, it was, it was fashionable about 10 years ago when Kaepernick started kneeling. Now where's Colin Kaepernick? Who's who? Who's calling? Who's calling Colin Kaepernick to play in the NFL? Who's calling Colin Kaepernick to be, be in their advertising campaign campaigns? It's done. You're finished. This moment, it's a. It was always a fad, and now the American public is saying, "Shut up and play ball." Enough of the pandering, enough of the politics in our entertainment, whether that's Hollywood, whether that's sports, enough of infusing everything with political poison. In fact, if you want to have a healthy, functioning society, you actually quite literally need things that we can all unite around, like the American flag, like a great game, like a great player. God bless Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes, a proud Hawkeye here. Um, a lot of patriots in Iowa. A lot of patriots in Iowa. Iowa, vote, Iowa votes for Trump by like 10, 15 points, okay? Like every single year. So it's a good, it's a good place to be from, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay based and respect the flag.